I decided to go to my local bookstore and see what books were available to a guy looking for insight on being a man in today's world. I began my search in the self-help section. How to succeed with women. Okay, this black and white cover looks very serious. Is this about dating or some workplace gender collaboration? I'm guessing the former. Similar title, but how to succeed without being weird. A little better. It is more honest about how guys have a hard time just being themselves when dating. Man up! This one was both the worst and the best. I still don't know how the word man can be used as a verb. On the plus side, it at least acknowledges that the modern guy is looking for a range of skills. Get laid or die trying, the field reports. This looks like a Bible. Am I to believe there's a higher power invested in my sex life? Is this what being a man is all about? The Rules of the Game, a sequel to a book called The Game, which is about the art of picking up women. So in the self-help section, that's all that I found for guys. For the most part, what I'm seeing here is that guys are going to ask for help if it's going to get them laid. Now there was this one other title that jumped out at me, and it was clearly not for guys, but I want to point it out. It was called Are All Guys Assholes? And I picked it up because I was curious. What is this talking about? And let me read you what I read inside. That actually happened to talk about the last book I mentioned, The Game. So Amber Madison writes, By the end, they all pretty much realized they wanted girlfriends. So this book, with its faux leather cover, gold leaf pages, and Hugh Hefner wannabe description, ultimately boiled down to being about how men need emotional connection. This is such a metaphor for the male dating experience in general. On the inside, it's confused, vulnerable, and emotionally needy. But on the outside, it looks intimidating, flashy, and like it's all about sex. Interesting insight. In gender studies, I thought, well, okay, here I'll probably find a little more of a range. More stuff for guys. Okay, here's a book that's probably going to help me as a guy. Man Down by Dan Abrams. Okay, another guy I can relate to. Proof beyond a reasonable doubt that women are better cops, drivers, gamblers, spies, world leaders, beer tasters, hedge fund managers, and just about everything else. Oh. Okay, so let's go with the only other book that seems to be geared towards men in this section that I could find. Manning Up instead of Manning Down, that should be good. So Manning Up, subtitle, How the Rise of Women Has Turned Men Into Boys. Oh. Well, that kind of sucks. So what I'm gathering here is that in terms of self-help, guys need help getting laid. And in terms of gender studies, guys aren't really reading gender studies books. So these are for women to read how guys essentially aren't pulling their weight. Because if guys were reading these books, they'd probably either have a midlife crisis and be forced to come to terms with what's going on inside them for real, or they would get pissed and start talking about it. So naturally, I'm left with some questions. The first one, for you directly, what books intended for men would you make required reading for all guys who are trying to understand their own version of manhood? Lastly, if I'm to do men's related work, do I have to speak this sex-like language just to get a guy's attention? As in, if I want to teach guys how to find self-empowerment in their vulnerability, do I have to use a catchy title for a workshop like, Using Man Balls to Get Boobs Now? Really? Look, dating, being with women, sex, it's all great. It's a great part of life. On a large scale, here's what concerns me. Generally speaking, it seems guys are not asking for help in other areas particular to men besides getting laid, and men are not doing much inquiry about what it means to be a man today. Are guys really fine or are they pretending? Are they curious but not willing to admit they have questions about being a man in today's world? I don't know. You tell me.